guys welcome back to my channel stove top yum yum today we're going to make some easy smothered burritos and you don't want to miss it this episode starts right now We are making some smothered burritos today, but we're taking a shortcut you guys. I worked until 5 p.m. today. It's Saturday. I'm tired and I'm going to show you an easy shortcut on how to make the most delicious smothered burritos you probably have ever had. So I have the ingredients back here. Let's go check them out. Okay guys, here are the ingredients for our smothered burritos. Today we're going to use taco seasoning. I've got 97.3 a pound of ground beef. I have two tablespoons of very finely chopped up salted pork, two small slices. We're going to use red enchilada sauce today. We have these humongous restaurant style burritos, sour cream, and Mexican style shredded cheese. So let's take all these ingredients and I will meet you at the stove and let's get cooking. Back you guys, we're at the stove. I'm heating my little monster small wok, whatever you want to call it. I just love it. So we're going to grab our salted pork and I'm going to pour it in there. I'm heating up my pan. Now keep in mind, our ground beef is very minimal fat. So this is going to give us a little bit of the fat we're going to need. So let's put that in there. We're going to have fat and flavor. Check this out. We Nice. Okay, so I'm going to grab my little blue flour, flour one today. Man, it smells good instantly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat this baby up. So when I come back, these are going to be nice and golden. We're going to add our ground beef, and we're going to have these ready in no time. You don't want to miss it, you guys. I'll be right back. I came back for one second just to let you know. These little pieces of salted pork, we are not going to use this in our ground beef. We're just going to use the fat that it's leaving behind in the pan. So let's grab these, let me grab right here, by the, okay, we're gonna put it right there. And then we're gonna put in there our ground beef. This is gonna be done in no time, you guys. I'm not even gonna put this in the oven when I smother them. So when I come back, I'm gonna have that meat in there. This is gonna be ready in no time. You won't believe how fast and delicious this is. You don't wanna miss this, you guys. I'll be right back. I wanted to show you our ground beef. So we just went ahead and uh, we made our ground beef small with our spatula. Everyone knows that, how to do that. And I just grabbed my taco seasoning mix. We don't really have to drain the ground beef because there's not really fat, much fat in it. Just a little tiny bit of fat from the salted pork. Let me show you guys. Check that out. Whew. Huge these smothered burritos are. We're going to stuff our burritos with the ground beef, which is what I'm using today. You can use shredded chicken, you can use shredded steak, whatever, whichever you prefer. I choose to use ground beef today with my yellow rice inside my burrito and also shredded cheese. I'm going to wrap them up, smother them in enchilada sauce, and then put some cheese on top right on the stove. And I'm going to use a tent, an aluminum foil tent. I'm going to show you how easy it is. And you guys, stay with me. You guys, you don't want to miss this. It's so easy and so delicious. I will be back. I'm back and we are ready to assemble. I put some of our enchilada sauce in our pan. Uh, it's on low heat. I took it off the stove for a minute while we build our tortillas. Now keep in mind, these are big tortillas for big monster burritos. So we're gonna take each tortilla and we're gonna put it in the microwave for 20 seconds, each one. Just drop it in the microwave for 20 seconds. And this makes your tortilla more pliable to build, okay? So I'm going to take the first one. I'm going to lower my camera so I can show you guys. All right, here we go. So there's our tortilla. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take the first one. And the first thing I'm going to do is walk over here and grab some rice real quick. So delicious. There we go. We've got our rice right here. And now we're going to add some ground beef. First, we're going to add a little bit of cheese on top of our rice to bind with our ground beef. How's that? Kind of like when we're making a grilled cheese. This is a very cheesy dish. So delicious. Now we're going to grab some ground beef. Our ground beef. Just a heaping amount of our ground beef. Right 
can a little bit more. My husband's a carnivore. I'm not, but he is. Now we're going to fold on each side. We're going to fold it on each side, and we're going to go up this way. Now, as we're coming up this way, we are going to grab our spoon, and we're going to push this because we don't want anything flying out of this humongous burrito. So we're going to keep tucking. We're going to keep tucking and rolling, tucking and rolling. Make sure your hands are clean. Tucking and rolling. You guys, look at this. Oh, my God. So I'm going to grab this one. I'm going to show you in the pan. I'm going to put it in the pan for right now. I'm going to put this in the pan. Now we're going to grab our next one. When I come back, they're both going to be built. You are going to see them in the pan, smothered in the enchilada sauce. We are going to, I'm going to show you how I make the tent. And you guys, my mouth is watering right now. Keep in mind, the red enchilada sauce that I buy, I always buy the medium. They've got mild, medium, and hot. The medium is hot. So if you don't like spicy, buy the medium. But it's so delicious. My homemade one I make with chipotle peppers. Not a lot of chipotle peppers, but I make it enough for it to be as hot as this is. Because I like hot, but not like my husband likes hot. So when I come back, we're going to be ready. And you guys, you don't want to miss this. It's so good. I'll be right back. I'm back. And look at this, you guys. I can't stop smiling. Look at this, you guys. Look at these two beautiful humongous monster burritos look at that you guys is that like oh my god so beautiful so now we're gonna take our foil i'm gonna take my foil and we are going to create what i call a tent two pieces of foil and we're gonna grab it like this and we're gonna make a little like a little indent in the middle because we don't want our cheese to stick to the foil so now we're gonna put this like this above our foil and we're going to turn our heat to before medium which is a high low for about 10 minutes listen you guys i cannot wait to come back so when i come back of course is my favorite part i'm going to taste and i know it's going to be absolutely delicious i'm going to garnish with some fresh cilantro and a dollop of sour cream and we're going to taste i'm going to show you what the inside of the burrito looks like and normally a smothered burrito, you would put it in the oven for about 10 or 15 minutes. Listen, we're going to do it stovetop. We have no time for the oven right now. None of that right now. So I'm going to take a little peek in there. And these babies, I'm going to kind of like cover my little tent. Try to cover each little crease carefully. Remember, your pan's a little bit hot, so be careful, you guys. A little bit. And there we have it. Look at our pan. Let's let it sit there. For about 10 minutes, and when I come back, guess who's going to taste? That's right. I will be back. You don't want to miss this. It's so delicious. I'll be right back. I'm back, and the smell here is incredible. I'm going to lift this tent up so you can see what it looks like. Check this out. Oh, my God. This is so freaking delicious. Look at that, you guys. Look at those two smothered burritos. I will definitely say that I will not finish one of these burritos. My husband might. So what I did was I took my spatula and all the little excess sauce. I had a little bit of uh, ground beef left over, so I just sprinkled it on top. Nothing to waste. I'm going to move this up on the sides to get all our burrito nice and smothered. And now, you guys, guess who's going to taste now? I'm going to taste. Okay. Oh, my God. Let's grab this baby. This is big, you guys. Carefully got to grab this. Carefully from the bottom, because remember, we're heating it up on the stove, so we got to, like, kind of soften it up, kind of like when you're, kind of like when you're trying to unstick a cake, when you're baking a cake. I know it sounds weird, but we have a lot of cheese on this, so a lot of cheese gets stuck on the bottom, so here goes nothing, you guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my God. Look at this smothered burrito, you guys. Look at this, you guys. Let me put it through this way. Look at that. That's a smothered burrito. Oh, my God. Look at this, you guys. Look at the inside of that burrito with all the rice and the cheese and the seasoned ground beef. And look at the size of this thing. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Here it goes. It's hot.
Oh my god. When you bite into this, when, you, when this bite that I took, you automatically get the heat when you bite it, the seasoning in the ground beef, the seasoned rice and the cheese, and then you have that sour cream instantly starts to cool the palate, and then you have that fresh cilantro, fresh herbs. I'm a fr oh, I love garnish. I'm a garnish girl. You guys know that already. Nothing more delicious when you're having a hearty dish than to have a fresh herb on top. It's just so, so important and so delicious. But there's only one thing I need to make sure. Let me try it again. Listen, you guys, if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you haven't, feel free to subscribe, but don't forget the notification bell. That'll notify you every time I have a new video. And as always, to my loyal followers and to everyone out there, au revoir, I love you, los quiero, and until the next great episode of Stovetop Yum Yum, I will be back and I will see you then. Bye.